Uh, let's talk Carlton. Your story created waves last week that you said Michael Voss was coaching for his future. Your forecast a, a rough game could mean dire straits for him. Where does it sit tonight and what's been the feedback to your story last week? Yeah, well, I mean, as you heard from um, that package that we put together for off the top of the program, they are staunch publicly, the senior figures at Carlton, that Michael Voss will see out his contract. But that can change. You know, I, I wasn't expecting anything other than the positivity and the reassurances that you heard from the senior figures. What, what I can tell you, Hutchie, is that Luke Sayers, the president, is going away to Europe tomorrow in a, a, a trip. I think it's his wife's birthday that's been very well forecast. It's not necessarily the best timing, but you know people do have to live their lives at some point. Um, and the way that we all dealt with COVID means that he can um, be part of the club electronically from um, across the globe. However, I, I think he's got some thinking to do. And I think um, no one's suggesting that Michael Voss is going to get sacked tomorrow or, or this week or, or, or next week, but he's running out of time to turn Last this week thing you around. said the he was essentially coaching and it started that week. That performance couldn't have been much worse. Definitely not. In terms of a coach-killing performance. So are you surprised on the back of what you said last week that there hasn't been a reaction to that performance last night yet? Well, I mean, there has been a reaction. I mean, you, 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 only, you only have to follow a little bit of social media to see the savage react, reaction of, of Carlton. Well, that's every so week, though. That's been for the last six yeah, weeks. So they, we're not judging it by the fans' There reaction. will be action taken. They, they went away last week, didn't they, as a, as a team, the players, and yep. had an attempt to get together and bond it? Yeah, they went down to uh, the Kernos residence in Torquay and uh, I think camped in tents and got some good bonding done. And it was, by all reports, um, from what the players have been saying to me, it was a, it was a great night. Um, it, it's just... There's a lot of positivity at Carlton, but yep. it is not transposing well, itself on the field. The response to that was um, 14 players have one tackle or less. The, the cohesion in that team is lost. Like, they, it's hard to imagine them putting the toothpaste back in the tube this year at least as a 15th ranked team. And the discussion now turns to whether he can, he can survive the... Because there's, only, there's two scenarios. One is, and with the risk of sounding insensitive, one is that he's moved on, and the, and the second is that they put different supporters in. Brian Cook said this, the Chief Executive, about the possibility of other assistant coaches at the end of the year. Will you shake up the football department around him at the end of the year? We will just have to wait and see with that one. We just have to live in the here and now for the time being. We have to improve. We know we're not competing well enough, long enough uh, against the best sides. We know that. So right now is where it's at. This is what we have to concentrate on, improving right now. And then it's a long way away at the end of the season for Michael, whether he can survive the storm. And I, I, I'm probably subscribed to the theory that it's going to be a challenge for him if they can't. Turn around. Where does Harwick sit in this? If if he declares his hand, well, first of all, if he wants to coach again, does that force Carlton to make to consider it? Do you go and talk to him? Do you have to resolve it before you do? Where do you sit on this? No, well, I think the worst thing they can do is is sack the coach now. And I, I, I wouldn't I'm not saying be, now, but if, I understand. But at the Damien Harwick year, said he's he needs a break. So the last person I'm going to be employing is Damien Hardwick. He needed a break. Carlton needs someone who is all in, mentally, physically October. up for the challenge. Well, who, who knows about so, Damien Hardwick? I, so, Kane, on that point, I heard you talking on radio about it this morning. If they play the way that they have been for the last month, if they play like that for the rest of the year and win somewhere between zero and three games, you, you still stand by the fact that you just stick with him because it's... What? Well, my, my comment today was around a rash decision to sack the coach now. That, that would be the last thing that they need. I want to know what the problem is at Carlton, yep. and I want them to tell me what it is. Because it's I, more than just the coach. Well, I listened to Michael Voss after the game, and they keep alluding to a problem, but they don't tell us, and it's on repeat. You know, we know that this game is made up, it's imperfect. Um, it's made up of mistakes and errors and willing to be able to take risks. The reality is this game's imperfect. Um, there's mistakes happen. How you correct those mistakes and how you, uh, how you flick into defence quickly so you can get a ball back quickly, we're just not recovering it quick enough. Error happens, mistakes happen. Um, if you look at the total um, number of areas in the game, it's very minor. It wasn't perfect the way that we're playing. There's still mistakes and we have to embrace that. Um, you know, that chaos and the mistakes and it's more about how we recover the, the mistakes. Yeah, and they're making a lot of mistakes. So this is half-time. This is what they've done in the first half, dominating the game of football to the point where it should have been over. Now, we all can see what the issue is and that's their efficiency going inside forward but, 50 and their use, Hutchie. But the like that speaks to change game plan. Right. Well, that's that, that, defence. Well, that speaks to an attack in, in, an improved effort. But what, definitely, what, they try to change does, the game plan, but they can't stand, execute. What does he stand for as well, a coach? Well, 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 he stands for contest and hunger, and he stands for the way that he played. But well, I need him. I need him to tell me that, and I need him to be a 
abrasive. So this is the nuts and bolts of, of what is going on. This is what he's alluding to. The amount of times they went in and made poor entries. But I need to know from Carlton, right, is it the list or is it the coach? And if it's the list, it's a bigger problem than if it's the coach. Because if it's a list, Lordo, they have to blow the whole thing up yeah. like Collingwood did well, two I, years I, ago. I think they do, but think that it is uh, an, un, um, an, un, sort of word, an unbalanced, unbalanced. unbalanced list with what, how they pay players. So I think that's what they'll try and sort out. I think if you're anybody else bar Michael Voss, you'd probably be worried. Because it seems to me that it is going to be a... Uh, whether you think it's blind faith or not, it's going to be a Damien Hardwick situation where... They'll back in their coach. I can't see how they, after the way they've spoken, unless it was a Damien Hardwick situation, no, how they can Damien, turn this if around. If Damien emerges, yeah, that, they've, that's got to, different. they've got to consider That is different. So, if, yeah, that's, well, they'd have to do it, wouldn't they? Mm. Lloyd, well, I'd, yeah, well, he's a proven coach. Yeah. Lloyd, respectfully, I, I do think we get caught up a little bit mm. in when leaders come out and say, he will definitely be playing for us next year, or this person will definitely be our coach. I mean, you only have to go back to 2015 for this club itself... This is 15 days before Mick Malthouse was shown the door at Carlton. At the end of the day, Mick is contracted to coach this football club until the end of the season, and that will happen. That was the same so, day but, that Mark Murphy and Bryce Gibbs but, stood up and said, it's not Mick's fault, yeah. this is on us as but, a playing group. So, of course they're going to back in But that people. is the reason why I don't think it will happen. I, don't, I think this is what Brian and Luke don't want to be that club anymore that does do things like that. So this is the reason why I think they'll look to support... But, it, but if it's the list, there's no easy fix. You've got to blow the whole thing up like Collingwood but it, have but done. But it wasn't but the list in round 22 well, and round 23 last year I when they pushed Collingwood. So that's out. what I want to know from them. Yeah. Where do you see the problem? Take us along for the they're, journey they're not a with bottom you. Four team, Don't though. talk to me about skill level. Talk to me about what is the root problem well, at the but club. But they are a bottom four club now, uh, but they're better that's than... Unbelievable that. is, that's unbelievable with that talent. I know. That's, that's Ma- more than Actually, imagine if we'd said on this show, pre-round one, that halfway through the season, Carlton would be... Fourth last on the ladder, yep. only in front of Hawthorne, West Coast and North. So you sound like you want to... You two sound like you, the coach is no, the issue I, I, and you I want to sack the coach. I think it's starting to become a real deci- decision for them because... No, not now, but at the end of the year, if things don't turn, they've got a, they've got a tough decision to make one way or another. But look, there's not a sport in the world where th- he would survive a season like this other than AFL. And his reputation stands for plenty and his values. But fearful what happens it, if they lose uh, in a couple of weeks to Go- Gold Coast on Sunday at the MCG. And, and there's all sorts of issues. Stevie J identified some of the Carlton forward issues on the weekend. Well, I just thought that their technique when kicking a set shot snap was incorrect. So the most important thing when kicking a set shot snap is that you start 90 degrees to the goals. But he's setting up on a 45 degree angle. So he's got to guess somewhere between the end of the ball and the belly of the ball, which creates an opportunity to either hit it skinny, which he done, and even the goal that he kicked last week under pressure, the first, the first goal, one. he's only 15 metres out from goal, he hit that skinny. So that's, that's some of the issues. The captain's the other challenge. He's not in, he had an unbelievable year last year and uh, an average one by those standards this year. And Michael Voss admitted as much on the weekend. Is Paddy Cripps fully fit at the moment? Yes, he is. Yep. Doesn't appear to be impacting no, as much. No, he is. Sometimes players get out of form. Sometimes they do. Pretty honest there with his frustration. And I wanted to compare the two captains because I couldn't have been any more impressed by Zach Merritt. He's tagged in the first half but still found a way to work hard and impact the game. So just the 18 disposals, but seven of those led to scores. He kicked a goal himself and the move of him forward, Stringer on ball versus Cripps, who is just not impacting. I can't remember the last time Patrick Cripps played a good game. Certainly been a long time this year. And you've got to go back a fair way. Did not have an effective kick on the night, Patrick Cripps. Yeah, it's a dynamic, or the lack of dynamic nature to his game. You know, he used to be so powerful. And it's what the Bombers, uh, we, I thought, we could expose him in this situation. It's his, how dynamic they are. And, and he actually sent a kid to him, Perkins. That's called well on this occasion. But Archie Perkins actually went to Patrick Cripps was with him at stoppage and then exploded off him. And They're playing a different type of player. They him. are. Yeah, they are. And, it, and they've gone after him. A more athletic counter Yeah, so Dawson's yeah. gone after him. We saw Heaney go after Started him. Started with now. Blixarves, didn't it? Yeah, and it's a good pick up from Lordo there. And this is what they did in the third term. They, they ripped this game apart. And it was without Parrish, it was out Setterfield. Hobbs was really important. Coldwell there. You know, they, they went forward and did maximum damage from the centre bounce, which has been Carlton's strength. It certainly was last year, but that's disappeared as well. So over the last 10 weeks, Carlton have lost eight and they've beaten North and the West Coast Eagles. So it shows now why they're a bottom four side. And just on the Bombers, who are fantastic, fantastic story. Yeah, they should make the finals. Now, these are the guys that didn't play. Uh, and I just wanted to highlight two in particular, Darcy Parrish 
and Dylan Shield. So that young midfield that's had an opportunity with their absence, that's where they've got to consider. Get that big key back in next year and they should be challenging for top four, top six next season.